well. So today I'm filming a, I guess it's an everyday natural sort of bronzy look. So this is pretty much what I wear most days. When I'm not really doing much, got nothing really special on, just going down to the shops. This is my go-to look. So if you want to see how I achieve this, keep on watching. Okay, so I've already like prepped and primed my skin, um, cleansed it, and I've also put a few spritzes of my toner water and moisturized my skin using my Ritual Active Moisture Lotion. If you want to see a video on all my skincare products, I'm happy to do one. Just leave it in the comments below and I'll get filming. I've also put in a few drops of the Visine Antihistamine Eye Drops. I just find with springtime and pretty much any time with me, I have pretty sensitive eyes, skin, everything. So but I just find putting a few drops of these in, they help relieve um, itchy and red allergy eyes. So bloodshot eyes are not cute. And I think if you have really fresh eyes, people are going to, you know, you're going to look awake, you're going to look happy, you're going to, you're just going to look a lot better. So for an everyday, just really simple makeup look, if you have fresh eyes, that's a really good start. <laughs> so firstly, I'm going to prime my skin using my Inglot Under Makeup Base Primer. This is my absolute favorite primer. I've been using this one for years. I do tend to swap and change a fair bit, but I always end up going back to this one. I just tend to focus that around my T-zone and then I blend outwards with it. I just use my fingers. I'm not really phased with like, you know, using a brush for this one. And of course I have washed my hands, so they are very clean. So don't you worry about bacteria because obviously that's how you know you can get breakouts and everything. And as you can see, I do have a few breakouts happening around my cheek, jaw, chin zone. And that's generally hormonal. So for me at the moment it is hormonal and it is also stress related. So as you can see, I do have a few. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC35. I'm going to go in and blend it with a Jess Up Flat Top Kabuki brush. I absolutely love these brushes. I'm actually thinking about doing a 60 second review on them. So if you would like to see that, uh, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Next, I'm going to go in with my Chi Chi 3-in-1 Concealer in the shade Light to highlight all those areas that we want highlighted. And I'm just going to go in with my finger to blend that one out. And just to further blend it out, I go back in with my Kabuki brush. Now using my Sleep Correct and Conceal Palette, I'm going to go in with this, uh, it's like, I guess I'd call it one of the banana shades. It's a light yellow powder here and I'm just going to go in underneath my eyes and set my concealer. I'm just going to prep my lips a little bit with my Beeline Essential Lip Care. It's just natural beeswax. I'm then going to set the rest of my face with the MAC Studio Fix in NC35 and just using one of the e.l.f. Kabuki brushes. Then to give my skin that beautiful healthy glow we all love, I'm going to go in with my Hula Benefit and a Real Techniques contour brush. Then using my brush from the Hula Benefit powder, I'm going to go in with NARS Laguna and I'm going to contour my face. I don't actually own one of the NARS contour brushes, but I find this works much the same and I absolutely do love how it looks. For blush, I'm going to be using NARS in Orgasm and also one of the Real Techniques multitasking blushes. Brushes, not blushes. I'm then gonna go back in with my Milani Blake <laughs> my Milani Baked Blush in number five Luminoso. And I'm just gonna use that a bit of a as a bit of a highlight. I 
I always struggle to open these. I really, there must be some sort of trick that I'm just struggling with. Now onto eyes. So firstly I'll go with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk just to lightly prep the eyes and to make any colour that I do put on them really stand out. For general day use I will always reach for my Naked palette. Excuse the ratiness of this palette. It, yeah, I just don't really like the velvet casing on it. I just don't think it wears very well. But I always reach for the colours Sin, Naked and Buck. They're my definite go-to. So firstly, I'll just pat Sin onto my eyelid. I then have been using my Hoola as a transition colour in my crease. I just love how this looks as a crease colour. And just using another one of my Jessup eye brushes. I will then just go in with a mix of Naked and Buck just to help blend those two together. And then depending on how I'm feeling, I'll go in with a black liner just to help smoke out my lash line a little bit. I then just go in with a MAC 214 brush and help smoke that out just to make it more blendable. And then of course, not to forget, we have eyebrows and mascara. So I've been loving MAC Shade Brawn for my eyebrows. I go in with a Models Prefer eyebrow brush. First of all, I just spoolie them out and then fill them in using the eyeshadow. And using my go-to mascara, Bad Girl Lash from Benefit. Alright, so that's generally it. I will leave my hair straight most days or... So if I am feeling up to it, I will give my hair a bit of a curl. Just a light, tussled curl. Like, it's not a too tight curl. I love these curls. They're my definite holy grail of curls. I don't really like tight, tight curls. If you would like to see a tutorial on how I achieve this look, these curls, make sure you leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to fill that one for you as well. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this look. I absolutely love it. It's my definite go-to look. So make sure you leave any comments or requests in the comment section below. And also like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!